Hey, what is going on everybody? This is Major League Hats and uh, I'm making this video. Why do I always start out every video and uh, uh, I, I gotta figure out how to start my videos better, sorry guys. But this video is to kind of finish up the trip that I took, well, me and Minor Leagues took to go see the Modesto Nuts play on May 10th. It was a lot of fun and I know I got a couple comments in the comment section about, hey, Major League Hatch, you didn't give us the tease about what you got at Liz and Pleasanton. Yeah, I did that for a reason. And uh, you're probably asking, well, what was your reasoning? I wanted to kind of show you guys a little bit of everything I got together because I just thought it would be a little bit cooler. And plus, I wanted to make a couple videos out of it. So I didn't want to make the videos too long. So without that being said, by the way, if you have not checked out my trip to Liz and Pleasanton, or if you have not checked out my Modesto Nuts Stadium review, please go check out that video. And if this is your first time watching my videos, I appreciate it. Thank you for watching my video. And if you don't mind, can you hit that subscribe button and that like button? Without further ado though, I know what you guys are waiting for. You guys want to see what I picked up. I personally think it's good. You guys might be on the other side of the fence, so I can't wait to see the comments that you guys guys leave at the bottom so without further ado let's get on to the reveal without further ado let's get on to the first and foremost I want to show you a couple autographs got these at the game uh, these are baseballs that I've had for a while these are California League balls that I've got during like games and stuff so I I try to use the best balls for autographing and I got myself a Joe Rizzo autograph if you guys don't know Joe Rizzo is a prospect and the Seattle Mariners organization by the way just in case the Modesto Nuts are the high A team of the Seattle Mariners and the Lancaster Jethawks are the high eight team of the Colorado Rockies. So I got a Joe Rizzo autograph. Look at that beauty. It is freaking nice. Joe Rizzo is not like a, a top 10 prospect. He's like in the top 20s, but he was hella cool. Signed the ball for me. I really appreciate it. So from now on, I will be rooting for Joe Rizzo because now he is considered one of my baseball buddies. The next autograph, I'll save that one for last because it's actually a little bit of a funny story. I'm mixing everything together. I didn't get everything at lids. I'll tell you what I got at lids, but uh, I'm mixing everything kind of together, okay? The first thing that I got, or one of the things that I got, and you guys have seen this kind of before, but I picked up, I am the Modesto Ali Yehas Cinco de Mayo skull candy type shirt this thing is freaking awesome i love these cinco de mayo type shirts i feel like this shirt is going to go perfect with my san jose giants jewelry shirt if you have not seen that shirt um i can't find it because my room's a mess but check out that man that is a freaking beaut if you guys have not already checked out the review on the Ali Viejas, I would strongly strongly recommend going to check out my hat review on the Ali Viejas. So here we go. This shirt will go perfect with that hat. Now the funny part is when I was at Lids and I was just going to probably get a hat, pair of socks for minor leagues, whatever you know, because it was like a Lids Foot Locker. They had some Stephen Curry socks. They had some, uh, I want to call them Portland Trailblazer color uh, scheme socks, as you guys saw in that video. If you already watched that video, they had socks. So I originally was just going to pick up some sock. I get up to the register with my items and the guy's like, hey, you got some rewards. Do you want to use them? Okay, okay, well, how many do I got? He tells me the value. I'm like, uh, well, how, how many can I use? He's like, as many as you want. I'm like, wait, time out, hold up. How many do I want? You're telling me I have XYZ amount and you say I can use as many as I want? Time out. Hang on, hang on. Uh, I'll be right back. That's what I told the cashier guy. And as you guys saw in the video, they have some awesome freaking jerseys. So, your boy, Major League Hats, had to, of course, pick up a jersey. Because if you guys are not aware, this is what I used to do when Lids was... And uh, I used to, you know, stack up my rewards and I would use them for like big stuff, you know, like jerseys or jackets or shirts or something like that. Or if I was like in between times when I couldn't really buy any hats and they had some nice releases coming out and I was in between and I had all these rewards. So I would just pile up the rewards and I would get the hats. And I've always said, there's no point in just using one reward. Just save it. 
$10 off on one single purchase isn't gonna make that big of a deal. Just save all your rewards, you know, and just save it for when there's a hat that you really, really wanna get. It's gonna be available because you got the rewards. So since they've changed the whole system, and I'm sorry I'm going on a little rant, but I just wanna make sure you guys understood the whole situation if you guys are new to the channel. But since they've changed the whole situation with the reward system, and the guy asked me, well, you can use as many as you want, I'm like, Okay, sweet. So I went back and I had to pick up one of my favorite players slash favorite pitchers of all time. Nolan freaking Ryan, Cooperstown edition, Houston Astros jersey. This thing is freaking awesome. Oh my God. It's a Cooperstown collection by Majestics, as you can see from the tags. This thing is freaking nice. A nice number 34 on the back. I have, I, I honestly don't have the hat to match this jersey, so I'm going to have to see what kind of hat that I should get because I honestly wasn't anticipating getting this kind of jersey. As you can see, the tag right there has your Cooperstown tag and your Hall of Fame tag right there. So what do you guys think, dude? Is this a freaking awesome thing or what? And just so you guys know, I'm only telling you this because this should tell you something. This jersey... Hundred and twenty dollars, but thanks to my rewards and the ability to be able to use them This did not cost me a freaking dime That should tell you how many rewards I have and that should tell you guys how passionate I am about hat collecting and everything I got a hundred and twenty dollar jersey Absolutely free Gratis No cobre nada, nada, zero Un dollar? No, 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 menos un dollar Zero, andale, zero dollars. This thing is freaking awesome. Always wanted a Nolan Ryan jersey, and hey, everything was just, it, it was freaking awesome. That's all I gotta say. I was really extremely happy. So, got that Cooperstown Nolan Ryan jersey. That is freaking, I, I can't say enough. I can't wait to bust it out. I gotta make sure I get the right hat to go with that jersey, so I can't wait to do that. All right, let's check out what else I got. I got, I got a couple more things. Okay, I'm saving the best for last, but at the game, the Modesto Nuts game, they were doing breast cancer awareness. And as you guys saw in my video, they were doing jersey auctions. And I went and bid it on a couple jerseys. So one of the jerseys that I picked up was, bam! Modesto Nuts number 36, Number 36 is Logan Gilbert. He is a pitcher. He is actually a very good pitcher. Uh, he is the number six prospect in the Mariners organization. So as you guys can see, we went on the field after the game to pick up the jersey right off the player's back, and he signed it nicely. Now, Logan wasn't pitching that particular night. He pitched a couple days before, but it was just kind of cool. So it's all clean and everything, and I was just freaking extremely happy to get it. It's a size 48. It is all screen printed and it's uh, sponsored by Sutter Health. So that is who the sponsor was for that night. So that thing is a freaking beauty. I really hope that you guys can see it. This makes my second game used jersey that I purchased from one of these auctions. And it just so happens both of them are Seattle Mariners organization teams. The other game used jersey that I have is a Tacoma Rainiers jersey that I got when went, went to a Tacoma Rainiers game and it was by DJ Peterson. He used to be one of the top prospects for the mayor. So with that being said, the last autograph that we picked up, a Logan Gilbert autograph baseball. As you can see, this ball is a little bit rougher condition. This is either a game use ball or a practice ball or something of that nature. I get all these baseballs at the games, either, you know, before the game or after the game. So there you go. So it's freaking nice. Logan Gilbert, like I said, top prospect in the Mariners organization. Now, before I show you the last thing that I picked up from Lids, I want to show you what I picked up from the Modesto Nuts team store. Now, I got a lot of hats, guys. I, I mean, I know I don't have as many as a lot of people, and, and I kind of knew that starting this channel. But uh, sometimes, uh, you know, the memory getting kind of old here, and the memory is kind of going bye-bye. First of all, to top it off, I wore the wrong hat to the game. And I thought I was wearing the Modesto Copa hat, and it turned out it wasn't the Modesto Copa hat. It was actually the Scranton Wilkesbury Copa hat. So when I saw 
the Modesto Culpa hat, I'm like, do I have that one? I can't freaking remember. So what I did is like, well, I'm going to kick myself. I'm at the game. I might as well pick up. Bam! A Modesto Ali Yehas hat. I'm not going to talk too much because I've already done a review on this hat. But the thing is, so I buy this hat and I'm like, this thing is freaking sweet. But you know, something's not sitting right with me. You know, 758, so I'm like, this looks familiar. I cannot see why I wouldn't have this hat. This is actually a pretty cool looking hat. And I'm like, something doesn't seem right. All right, I took some pictures a while back when Hat Club was doing their little Gopa giveaway contest. And uh, yeah, your boy bought doubles. So I have two of these hats. I don't know what to do with one of them. Minor leagues can't wear a seven and five eights. So I don't know. I don't know if I'll give it away or whatever. I haven't honestly, I'm just being honest guys. The, the, the hat giveaways have not really been that successful with people entering in. So, you know, you know what I'm gonna do? If anybody wants to buy it, 25 bucks, hit me up on Instagram. Yeah, so I have the other one. I'm not gonna send you this one. I'll send you the other one that I haven't worn. This one was the one I bought at the Modesto Nets game. So yeah, your boy bought two of the same freaking hats. And yeah, I already told my wife about it. She wasn't too happy. So 25 total, if you guys want it, ship USA, Canada, you know, you want it and you live in Canada, $10 for shipping because that's what it usually costs. Let me know, hit me up on Instagram. I'll provide my Instagram link down at the bottom. Now I got two of those. It is size 758 if you're curious, okay? All right, but I know you guys were introduced to another one of my Dislike Dweeb Squad members. You guys got to meet Mandy Snaps. And Mandy Snaps, she's just a bad influence, man. Uh, she just wants me to buy snapbacks. And uh, she was trying to get me to come to the dark side. <sighs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Yowie wowie! Uh, uh, I'm sorry guys, I'm just gonna be honest. I had to buy a hat from the lid store and they didn't have any hats, unfortunately, at the lids in Pleasanton that I really wanted to get. And I, I saw this hat in my local store here in Santa Rosa where I live next to, and I actually really liked it. I wanted the Giants hat, but at that particular lid in Pleasanton, they didn't have the Giants hat, and Mandy Snaps got me to get this Oakland A's graffiti style <sighs> snap back. And I'm just gonna be honest. I ain't mad at Mandy, man. Mandy Snaps actually recommended a very good hat and since i have more hats yes yes i'm not doing a freaking 180 guys it's just i like this hat i am not getting fully into snapbacks or anything like that i still want my fitteds i'm still gonna get fitteds i have told you in the past though i have been thinking about buying a couple snaps because the snap designs the collaborations they're just freaking killing me. So Mandy Snap said I should get this hat. This thing is freaking awesome. Check out the athletics and the graffiti style on the side. So I hope you guys ain't mad at me. I really like this hat. I thought it was a freaking good hat. And like I said, with all my rewards of $31.99, it didn't cost me no more than five bucks. And I tell you five bucks because, yeah, the socks that I got minorly, I got them two pairs of socks. Those were $30 total, came out to like 38. You throw in the five bucks from this, this basically thing cost me five bucks. Can't beat that. This was not my first choice, guys, but... I had to get it. I it is it is kind of, come on guys, it's nice. You got that nice yellow gold button on top. You got that nice green and yellow new era flag. Got a nice green A's logo right there. Look at the graffiti style of the athletics right there. That is just sick. Underneath you got this forest green looking bill right here. You got a black uh, sweatband. This is genuine merchandise. And even on the snap itself, it is a green color. So it's just come on guys. Don't be mad at Mandy, man. This hat just rocks. Come on. I told you guys that eventually I might start picking up some snaps because I get it. Not everybody likes fitteds. And, and I got that. And I know snaps are making a comeback. But come on, guys. This isn't going to be an everyday thing. So don't get don't think that Major League Hats is going crazy. It's just, just come on, man. 
Let me know what you guys think in the comment sections of this hat. Do you guys think I'm losing it? Are you guys happy with what Mandy Snap suggested? Would you guys pick up this hat? Like I said, I really wanted the Giants one. Got this one instead. All right, you guys. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. Please make sure you guys leave a thumbs up. I'm trying to get 30 thumbs up in every single video. So thank you if you could do that. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit your notifications so you get notified when I upload my next video. You want to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, right there at the bottom. Right there, and the link's in the description. All right, guys, thanks for watching. This is Major League Hats. Out, see ya. By the way, Mandy Snaps says she'll see you later. Bye.